Despite the champagne and sweets, Valentine's Day can be one of the healthiest days of the year if you're in a relationship. This is due to the fact that a growing corpus of scientific evidence indicates that love has some very positive health effects. Dr. Helen Reese, the director of Massachusetts General Hospital's Empathy and Relational Science Program and the author of the upcoming book, The Empathy Effect, explained to Time how falling in love can improve your physical and emotional well-being. Happiness comes from love. Dopamine, the feel-good brain chemical linked to rewards, is particularly active during the initial stages of romantic love. According to Rice, that is a mood intensifier, so people feel extremely positive and very appreciated, which explains why being in a new relationship can leave you feeling on cloud nine. However, a letter from the Harvard Mahoney Neuroscience Institute states that newlyweds also suffer a surge in the stress hormone cortisol and a corresponding reduction in the mood regulating neurotransmitter serotonin. That could explain some of the chaotic behavior that frequently accompanies growing love, such as passion combined with anxiousness, preoccupation, and worry. Studies reveal that even as your love grows older, your dopamine levels may remain high. However, cortisol and serotonin levels will probably return to normal, which will help you relax and become more comfortable in your relationship without sacrificing its mood-enhancing benefits. Love relieves tension. All of that dopamine begins to share space in the brain with another chemical after the honeymoon phase passes. Oxytocin, also known as the bonding hormone, that can improve your health in addition to making you feel warm and fuzzy about your mate, according to Reese. People experience less stress when they feel firmly connected, the expert claims. Your neurochemicals are back in balance when you are in the company of someone who greets us with positivity and compassion, as this can actually lower those levels of cortisol and adrenaline and create greater homeostasis. Thinking about your partner, calling them, or even sending them a text might help evoke these emotions if you're far from them, according to Reese. Anxiety is reduced by love. Numerous studies have shown that loneliness can have negative effects on health, including pain centers being activated and inflammation rising. According to Rias, anxiety is mediated by different neurotransmitters, like norepinephrine, and is stimulated by the feeling of loneliness. Additionally, feeling uneasy and threatened raises cortisol and adrenaline levels, which sets off your body's stress response. Anxiety can be lessened by being close to someone and in love. You take better care of yourself when you're in love. Love has advantages that extend beyond your imagination. According to Rice, couples encourage each other to go to the doctor when they don't want to. People tend to brush off medical illnesses and say, this can't be serious. There is a great deal of denial surrounding them. The evidence supports this. Individuals who are paired off may be able to identify problematic moles sooner than singletons, which may allow them to diagnose melanoma earlier. The same is true for unusual bleeding, which Reese adds may indicate dangerous illnesses like leukemia, renal failure, and Cushing's syndrome. In many cases, spouses may even become aware of persistent health issues or allergies before the sufferer does. Love extends your life because married couples live longer than singles do, according to research, till death do us part becomes much more meaningful. According to studies, having a spouse who can hold you responsible for adopting healthy lifestyle habits and guiding you away from poor ones, regular social and emotional support, and improved adherence to medical care are all important factors in explaining those long-term benefits. Research has indicated that married couples have reduced rates of substance addiction, blood pressure, and depression in comparison to their single counterparts. However, there's good news for single people as well. Friends and family are beneficial to your health as well, according to a 2010 assessment of 148 studies that indicated lifespan benefits were connected to all close social ties, not just romantic ones.